If you got the latest Linux and you want to install on your computer, forget the CD, forget the DVD. I'm going to show you how to get it onto a USB jump drive, be able to load from it and install from this USB. This is TQA Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis. If ever you have any technology questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, just email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, and use the contact form or use the comments box on this specific page if you're watching on a website. Today's topic has to do with the installation of Linux. We're going to be talking about Ubuntu 13.04, but don't be confused, this will work for almost all Linux distros, and for the most part, a lot of them are already in the program we're gonna be showing off today. This is a demonstration, but before we go into it, there is going to be the fact of why would you want to install it this way? So, talking from the ecological, which is mostly my side point of view, using a USB key is actually a lot more eco-friendly. Now, not made, not the process of making it, but the fact that you can keep this almost indefinitely. It will continue to work over and over and over again. In fact, you can always format it and add later distros onto this very same key. Optical, unless you're using a rewritable disk, you can't do that. Not to mention the other opposing problem, which is most newer devices do not necessarily come with an optical drive. So you actually have to buy an external optical drive if you wanted to install from an optical disc. Whereas using the USB port on the side, which you were going to plug the optical drive into anyway, will allow you to install a full Linux. And here's another reason why you would like to install Linux onto a USB jump drive. This is a self-contained operating system that will load without any issue on the computer in question, and you're able to save files to this as opposed to optical drives. So those are all the reasons why you will be interested in learning how to use a USB drive to actually install your future distros of Linux, whether it's Ubuntu 13.04 or any kind of Debian or Red Hat or whatever you ever want. You'll be able to use this instead of an optical disk. So starting from the ubuntu.com website, click onto desktop and you will have to click to get Ubuntu now. This is for the demonstration. You can get any Linux you want. Choose the flavor of Linux you want and click the file in order to download. Once your Ubuntu installation is actually in, is actually downloaded, the ASIO file itself, I want you to go back to where you actually clicked for the download link. And I want you to go to the read the full instru installation instructions on the Ubuntu website. It actually has a link for Windows, how to create a bootable USB stick. You will click on that link and then you'll have a program called Pendrive Linux USB Installer, which you can actually go and see, which we've already for this demonstration installed. Once you actually have it installed, you will open the Your Universal USB Installer, which will ask you to actually agree with their terms. You will select a, a form of Linux from the actual choices that they have. You will browse for their specific ISO, and then you will select a drive that you wish to have formatted. Now, here's the thing. I want you to be absolutely sure of the drive letter that you are. In our case, it's L. You select L. If you are not sure about whether it is a safe idea to actually format the drive in question, don't format it. Anyway, select the correct letter of the USB drive in question, 
select the format to make sure everything is gone unless you're not sure. And you can also set a persistent file size for storing changes, which is optional, but you still can set it. Once you've set it, hit create. It will format the drive to all the settings on the screen and click yes. Once the installation has been completed using the universal USB installer, all you'll have to do is click close. And then upon inspection of the file or the drive, you'll actually see all the files in question required to actually start your computer using Ubuntu in this case. It's not a terribly difficult thing to do since the universal USB installer actually makes it quite simple. In fact, it does make it possible to have it downloaded automatically as opposed to you downloading it and actually entering it in. However, it will take you several minutes depending on various settings, such as the persistent file size. The bigger the persistent file size you select is, the longer it's gonna to take to create that disk. However, that means you'll be able to not just load it and use it as an installer, you'll actually be able to use it as a supplemental drive that allows you to run as though that's the actual hard drive in question that you run your Linux from. That same application from Pendrive Linux is capable of installing any Linux you want, whether it's Ubuntu, Mandriva, Red Hat, Debian, anything you want. All you have to do is follow that very same instruction. Just replace Ubuntu by any other Linux you wish. Of course, the links to that specific software will be down below if you're watching on the website or on the show notes page if you're watching this as a download from tqaweekly.com slash se3ep34. That's where you will find the downloads for Ubuntu, obviously, and Pendrive Linux Universal USB Installer. Next week, I'll be talking about the benefits of using a temporary disposable email address and how that may actually protect your privacy. And also I'll be providing you with several websites that actually provide this service. Have a great day. Stay safe and online. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to TQA Weekly. Show your support by liking this episode, subscribe to get our latest episodes as they come out, and share with friends and family who may benefit from such a show as this. You may send us your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories to ask at tqaweekly.com. For our show notes, links to our Android application, alternate means of subscribing to our show, and information on joining our weekly newsletter, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day.